Hello everybody, welcome to another update video. Um, this is just going to be a quick one. I wanted to go over some of the things that I'm doing to this Limitless since the last run that we did uh, this past weekend. So a few things are going on and uh, I need some comments from you guys to kind of help me out on how I should proceed. So I have, I have a bunch of castle stuff over there. Uh, I have... Um, I have another 2400 KV and I have two 2028 1700 KV. So I don't know if I, 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 I feel like I do know. I, I think I want to keep running with this motor and I want to keep pushing this motor, see how fast we can go with this one. But maybe in the infraction, um, I want to try a new motor that I got, which is um, this one, the 1700 KV 2028. Uh, this one, I think, I think would do very well. And I was planning to put that one in there, but I do, I do like this motor a lot. So I want to keep pushing this one and see what numbers we will get with it. Uh, the RPM on this motor has been spiking up to 108,000 RPM, which this motor is rated for only 90. So that's not good. I, I am putting a bigger pinion on here. Uh, I had a 26 tooth, we're going up to a 30 because this motor is pushing very high RPM. And even after like two runs in a row, I'm only getting up to maybe 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So not that hot. So I still feel like like the, the, the 26 tooth was too small. It's 26 and 45. Now it's going to be a 30 and 45. I think it's going to be a little bit better. I did upgrade these to aluminum. Uh, those are ADURC uh, units. I did want to get the ones from Scorched RC, and I still plan to, but they were out of stock. So I got these. Um, these are nice. I do have those on the infraction also, and they have worked very well. And I got these aluminum ones in the back. These are also the same ones that I have on the infraction. These, these tighten everything up. Like there's very little motion. Actually, there's none. There's no motion side to side. So these tighten everything up. Um, I have new wings coming from Stupid RC. Uh, hopefully those will arrive soon. There's been some delays in, in getting those. Oh, I also... I have new G Plus batteries coming uh, from CNHL. Uh, they are two 6,000 milliamp hour G Plus batteries. From what I'm told, they're great. So we're going with those. Hopefully those uh, work well. I also have uh, QS8 connectors. I did order some already that I received, but they seem very cheap and flimsy. Um, they weren't cheap. I, I, I paid I paid like 40 bucks for them on eBay and they came in and I just did not like the build quality. I was able to pull one of the eight millimeter plugs out of it like fairly easily by hand. So I thought they were crap. So I'm not gonna use those, but I did end up ordering some Perfect Pass ones, which, I mean, they're perfect pass, so, so they, they, they have to be good quality. Um, so when those come in, I'm going to put those on. So uh, by, the, by the next run, this coming weekend, we're going to have new connectors, uh, new steering, new hubs, uh, bigger, bigger pinion, and new batteries. So I think that's everything, and hopefully that will make a big difference. I think it will. Oh, I also have, I'm also getting Perfect Pass uh, Springs. I haven't, I haven't ordered those yet, but that, that's the plan. Now, that, that handles the whole car thing. The controller range situation that I've been having. Um, so, guys, I own a company. Uh, it's an industrial automation company called Industrial Automation Solutions. And we work with all sorts of um, telecommunication and water treatment and, and process automation, just all sorts of different automation projects. Well, we have used signal boosters before and 
they work extremely well. We have some remote wells that are currently running that are far off the property that are communicating back to a central PLC that controls all the wells out in the fields. And they are, they are far away. And we, we use 2.4 gigahertz radio and we use uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio boosters. So since all this runs on 2.4 gigahertz, what I ended up doing is getting a, a connector, which is IPX to SMA. IPX is what connects to the board inside here, and SMA is this unit right here. Um, so the idea is, is I'm gonna have this antenna, which is made for 2.4 gigahertz, and I have this connector right here, which is SMA going back to the board. If that works, great. That'll give me some better, better range. But what I'm actually doing is I'm going to, I'm going to have this connect to a 2,000 milliwatt booster, which is powered by a 7.4 volt battery. Um, that will boost the signal significantly. And using it like that, I should be able to get a range of, at the very least, a mile, probably significantly more. So that's the idea with that. And I know everybody tells me, change the controller, get a new controller, get a new controller. I'm very weird with things. And when I get used to something that I like, that I like the way it feels, I really do not want to change it. So if I have to get a new controller, I will. But I have a bunch of these for all my cars. And I'm really not a big fan of having all my cars on one controller, considering that my kids drive these cars and we all go driving them together. So I want to have each car in their own controller and I have a ton of these. So these have worked great. I like the way they feel. I like the way they work. So if I could just make this one better and make this one work the way I need it to work, I'd really prefer to not change it. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with this one, but that's kind of what it looks like now. Um, pretty sweet. Feels like that's the way it should have looked to begin with. So this is pretty much the whole update of this car. Um, please leave me your comments and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what I'm doing right. Um, let me know, should I try the 1700 motor in there? The 1700 KV? Or should I just throw the 1700 directly into the infraction and just use that one in the infraction and keep this one in here? Um, yeah, let me know guys. And th as always, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you this weekend. We will try to break our personal best of 133. Thank you.